In this question, we want to use elementary row or column operations to find the determinant. Here you have one, two, three, four rows and four columns. I want you to pay attention to the last column. You have a zero. So our goal is to make this column to become a column with the highest number of zeros. You might say, hey, why we are not using the first column or uh, the last row? You can do that as well. There is no restriction. There is no limitation. We can multiply the first row by negative 3 and add it to the third row to make this 3 equal to 0. Let's see. So here you have 4, negative 7, 9, 1. The second row stays the same. 6, 2, 7, 0. And this row is now negative 9, 27, negative 30, and 0. You could also add the first row and the last row to make this entry equal to 0. So now pay attention here. Your last column has 1 and the rest of the entries, they are all equal to 0. Now what? You can use this column and expand this with respect to this column. You have a sub 1 and 4 times cofactor 1 and 4 plus the rest of the entries are all equal to 0. So we don't have any calculation at all. That makes life much more easier for us when we are calculating the determinant. But please pay attention, the cofactor 1, 4, the cofactor for the first row and the fourth column is negative 1 to power 1 plus 4, which is 5, times the minor for the first row and the fourth column. And the minor for the first row and the fourth column can be found using the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. So all you need to do is multiply this determinant by negative 1. Why? Because you have a negative 1 here and calculate this determinant. So our goal is to calculate negative the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. Pay attention here. You have negative 9, 27, negative 30. So you can easily factor out negative 3. So when you factor out negative 3, it becomes 3 times the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix in determinant 4. So next step is to multiply the second row by negative 2 and add it to the first row. Why is that? Because you can create 0, an extra 0, on the first column. So now take a look at your first column. You have 0, 3, and 4. We want to expand using the first column. So let's see. You have a 3, which was already in front of the determinant. Then you have 0 times cofactor 1 and 1 plus 3 times cofactor for the second row and the first column plus 4 times the cofactor for the third row and the first column. This is equal to 3 times. This is just 0. We're not going to do any calculation. 3 times cofactor for the second row and the first column, which is equal to negative 3 times 260. But where does this come from? The cofactor for the second row and the first column is basically negative 1 to power 3 multiplied by the determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix. Now, plus 4 times cofactor for the third row and the first column, which is 4 times 200 minus 117. Where does this come from? First of all, note that for the cofactor, you have negative 1 to power 3 plus 1, which is 4, so it becomes positive 1. But to calculate the cofactor uh, for the third row and the first column, we have to use the minor for the third row and the first column, which is basically the determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix, which is 2, 20 times 10, 200 minus 117. And as you can see, if you do the algebra, the determinant becomes negative 1,344.